All right, let's go on a, a bit of an adventure. Come Tara, let's go, let's go, come on, let's go. It is pitch black here. We're gonna see if we can uh, see the stars. Let's see if I can up the ISO. Oh, there we go. It's a lot of noise. But yes, we're gonna see if we can shoot the stars. Let's give it a go. Okay, so today we're going to try out the Pixel Phone's new Astro time-lapse mode, but obviously we're going to do some, you know, photography shots as well. So I'm going to try and use the car as a subject, and if we look straight up, we do have the Milky Way. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera is picking this up. I have the ISO set to like 80,000 right now. Uh, I think you can see some dots, but yeah, I can cut to some shots I did with the camera as well so you can see that but we're gonna see what we can do with the the phone's time-lapse and we're also gonna show you a trick on how to use ADB to script uh, a time-lapse an astro or night sight night mode time-lapse of your own so let's set this thing up all right so I framed the car I have a spotlight so that I can actually focus, but it's in astrophotography mode. So if we turn off the light now, okay, uh, it's gonna go into astro mode. It already is in astro mode, but if we hit the shutter button, actually before you do that, make sure you have the shutter set to uh, timer, sorry, timer to three seconds. So if you tap it, there's three seconds before it, for it to settle. And we tap this, and it's gonna start. So there it is, so it's gonna do a four minute uh, exposure. And when it's doing this four minute exposure, it's actually gonna capture a short video as well. The video is only like one second long, um, but let's see what that looks like. And then I will show you how to do a longer time lapse uh, with the ADB script. Oh, and I am also gonna show you a quick trick. So, uh, I have a Model 3 here. So for the Model 3, uh, we, can actually f we can actually flash the headlights. So when this time lapse finishes, uh, I'll show you what I did earlier where I didn't flash the lights and the car was just pitch black. So we're gonna flash the, uh, the lights so that the car stands out a bit more. So there we go, so that was a quick like half a second flash. So we'll see what that does to the photo. Okay, it's finished. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, gonna tap this here. And there it is. Actually, it's not, not too bad. Uh, I think there's a bit of lens flare up here, that red thing there. Uh, but yeah, if you don't flash the headlights, the car just kind of doesn't pop. So I think if we uh, scroll here, this is the time lapse that it does. So you see that the car light flashes a little bit. Um, yeah, it doesn't work quite well there. If you leave the lights off, then the car looks really dark and you might see the sky moving a little bit. But this time lapse is only like a minute or a second, sorry, a second long. So yeah, let's try the ADB script one. So uh, I'm gonna cut to the demo on how to set it up. All right, so to get that script running, we have to install LADB, so local ADB. Uh, that's a, there's a paid app, but there's also a testing version at the moment, but install that first. Uh, next, you have to make sure that you have USB debugging turned on uh, and then you have to enable wireless debugging. So turn this on first, this is in developer options, and then turn the wireless debugging on. Next, you tap on this and we have to put this into split screen mode, uh, otherwise the code will keep changing. So you put LADB with wireless debugging in split screen mode. Next, uh, LADB is going to ask for the port and the pairing code. You have to tap this and that's the pairing code and the port. So the port is 42411. So let's do that, 42411. 
and the code was let's see two eight two two seven five so two eight two two seven five and okay and there it is it is now connected so now we can actually run commands so we can do like you know ls or something that should give us all the uh, files currently in the root directory uh, of the phone next we're going to copy a test script uh, from my Google Docs. So this is the test script that I have just for testing purposes. It's basically going to press the volume down button uh, three times and then it's going to you know, wait five seconds between each time it does that. So let's go back to LADB. So now you can actually close that one. We can just paste that in and then press run. And now if we wait five seconds, we should see a volume change. There it is. So the volume has changed. So if we wait another five seconds, that should show up again. And there it is. And then they should do it one more time. There it is. So that's how we're gonna do our astrophotography. Um, if you don't have you know, the Google camera app, uh, any Android phone can run this. Basically, we're gonna run a script that will just hit the volume button for us. So we put the camera into astro mode or any, you know, night mode, and then we're just gonna have this script hit the, hit the button for us. All right, so now that you've got it set up, uh, I guess you would use this if you don't have the, you know, Google camera app. Basically, we're gonna fire up LADB. We're gonna paste in our script. Now, depending on your frame rate, uh, you have to figure out how many photos you have to take. Now, remember each astro shot takes four minutes. Um, so you're gonna be here for a long time. Now, I probably can't do a full length um, time lapse because my puppy needs to go home. So what I'll do is I'll just show you what it looks like. So you just start the script. So it's running now. Now you have to quickly open your camera app and then switch to the night sight mode. Uh, and hopefully you've framed your shot properly. And there it is. Uh, it's hit the button automatically there. I didn't touch it at all. I know it's hard to see, but I did not touch it. Now it's gonna wait, you know, about four and a half minutes or so, depending on how you did your script. And then it will hit the, uh, the volume button again and then take another photo and so on and so on until that script is finished. And then after that, you'll be able to compile it into a time-lapse. And yeah, you should get something similar to what the Google camera app does. And you can make it as long as you want. You can hook this up to a power bank if you like, and then, you know, shoot, you know, overnight if you want. Obviously I can't do that now, but yeah, this gives you an alternative if you don't have the Google camera app for time lapses. Anyway, hope this was useful and thanks for watching.